Hey everybody, I forgot to tell you about um, the final project part 2. I know it's in the module, module 5, but I wanted to explain it real quick. Uh, I forgot to talk about it in class. So let's look at final, mo uh, final project part 2, plan a structured range. Now this assignment um, the reason, the main reason I feel like I need to talk about it is because um, I, uh, you, you don't turn it in in Canvas. You bring this assignment to class. So you're going to bring it to class um, Thursday uh, night and, um, and you're going to turn in a piece of paper. This is, a, this is a sketch on paper of how you will organize your structured range. Um, uh, so you're going to turn in a sheet of paper or several sheets of paper that show your plan for how you're going to put your data in Excel. So again, um, the first three steps of the final project are just kind of developing your um, starting data file. Um, so um, this is the second step of that. So, so again, look at the steps here. So look again at your answers to the questions in final project part one. Um, you know, uh, how did you answer those three questions? And especially look at question three on this uh, final project, part one. So because, uh, well, you want to decide what data is going to go into rows, and you need to have at least 30 for the final project, not for this step. Um, you don't need to have 30 rows for this step, but um, 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 you will for the final project. Um, and then decide what data will go in the columns. So um, that's really going to come from your uh, final project one, uh, step project one, the step three, where you say what kind of data that you need. Well, pretty much the stuff that you mentioned, the data that you mentioned in step in question number three of the of this quiz from last week, is going to be your columns. Okay, so look at my example here. Um, so for my example here, remember my, my uh, theoretical project is my music collection. Um, so here it is. You can kind of you can see um, I just took a picture of it, my notebook that I um, so I'm, this is a piece of paper that I took a picture of, right? And I wrote the kind of the title of my project here at the top, and then I wrote the column headings. Uh, for each song, I want to know. So in the rows, I'm going to have songs. So for each of my music, uh, so this is, I have an MP3 collection and a record collection of CDs. Um, so I'm pretty much just going to go through my library and list all of my songs and all, all my CDs, all my albums, all my MP3s. And each one of those songs is going to go in a row. Um, so I'm going to have a large music collection, like thousands and thousands of songs. So... Um, luckily I have all of this in iTunes and so I can just export from iTunes but in the plan here for just step two for the paper I'm gonna just write the what I'm gonna put for each song I'm gonna put the title for each song the artist for each song the album for each song the track number on the album for each song the genre of each song the year and etc etc um, the ratings um, you know uh, the track length how many minutes and seconds um, uh, maybe the billboard top 100 ratings you know the, all that kind of stuff could all be columns um, so and then I'm gonna turn this and this is a piece of paper and so bring this piece of paper to class um, remember you don't have to have all 30 rows right now you just need to have a couple of rows just to kind of show me what your plan is Okay, so um, I hope this helps. Um, I know I, I just you know I didn't talk about it on Thursday, and I just realized that, and so um, uh, I want to make sure you understand what I want here for uh, final projects step two. Okay, um, thanks.